Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, thank you for being a prayer answering God. Thank you for life, health, and strength all throughout the year 2020. Thank you for bringing healing when in need of healing. Thank you for keeping us safe during this 2020 year of the pandemic. We pray both for our sitting president as well as our incoming president. We pray for their decision making that's to come in this new year. We speak to their hearts as they enter into this new era of leadership. We pray for the federal, state, and local government. Lord, have your way in our country. We pray for open doors in 2021. Open doors for new businesses, open doors for new business ideas, open doors for new business relationships to be established. We pray for the overflow, Lord God. God, thank you for our spiritual father, our pastor, and our leader, Lord God. Thank you for his love and dedication to serving us as well as serving the entire body of Christ, Lord God. We thank you for all the things that you've done and all the things that you're going to do in this magnificent year. In Jesus' name that I pray this, amen.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Can we worship God together tonight? We're getting ready for 2021, and no weapon formed against us will prosper. Come on, let's worship God together. cannot explain that happens when we proclaim your great name your great name say we love to oh, oh, oh. call your name is something we cannot we explain, cannot explain. That, happens that happens when we proclaim, when we proclaim your great name your great name your your name there is power in the name of Jesus power in your name come on let's say that together there is power in the name of Jesus so much power in power in your name oh there is power there is power in the name of Jesus so much power in your name power in your name is power in the name of Come on, Jesus. I beg you to call on the name of Jesus. Power in the name. Yeah, there, is power. there is power in the name of Jesus. So much power in your name. Power in the name. Things change when I call. Things change when I call you, Jesus. Things change. Things change when I call your name. Say, Say when I call your name, when I call. 
You're an awesome guy. Say when I call your name. When I call your name. Say when I call your name. When I call your name. Oh, Jesus. When I call your name. Yeah, Jesus. When I call your name. Say when I call your name. When I call your name. Say when I call your name. When I call your name. Say when I call your name. When I
worship you forever. And I will give you glory forever. Because I am. Because I am free. Because I am. Because I am whole. Tell everyone. And I can tell everyone I know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Feeling so good. <laughs> oh, let's see. Uh, Lord have mercy. 172. Lord have mercy. I need to, I ain't feeling so good. I need to call somebody. <laughs> Temperature is 173 degrees, and I got a bad cough. <laughs> I got a bad cough. I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh huh. I can't come over tonight either. Cause I, I don't know. I can't come out. Who, what? I need to call who? <laughs> wow, who? Walnut. Oh, Wall Green. Call them for what? <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, tell him what, what. Tell him what I got. Okay. Well, what's the number? Uh, 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 uh. Okay. 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 Well, when I call him. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> <coughs> Let's see. What that number? <coughs> Hello. <coughs> uh, yeah. This is. <coughs> this is. This, <coughs> This is this is this is Deacon Gray. <laughs> uh, I'm from I'm from the First Pentecostal Church of Apostolic Analysis. I, I'm, 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 I got a temperature of hold on hold on hold on hold on. I got a temperature of 
Oh, it just changed. Uh, uh, 225 degrees. I got a bad cough. I got a sneeze that won't quit. My nose is running. I got gout in my feet. And I got the, the leg, I got a little uh, the tingling in my knees and my, and my eyes. Uh, I, I, I need to know what to do. Uh, uh, what? Uh, 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 COVID? Who is that? Uh, what's that? I, I ain't never heard of that. But I, I need to I need to give me something quick because I got to go to Bethlehem Family Worship Center <laughs> tonight for the New Year's Eve service, and it's gonna be packed up in there. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take me some cough medicine and go down there and believe God. <laughs> I, I might sing on the praise team. I might play some music. I might ush. I think I'm going to be all over the place. You know, I just feel the spirit. <laughs> they say, what? I need to get tested. Uh, tested for what? Uh, 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 huh? COVID? I, I'm believing God. I ain't got no COVID. I tell you what, I'm going to church tonight. I'm going to shout. I'm going to praise. I'm going to run all over the place. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to believe God. And I'm going to get on the altar and just let them pray for me. And then I pray it away. Say, what? I got to come get tested. I, got, I believe God. The devil is like, I ain't getting nothing. <laughs> I ain't got COVID. Uh, uh-uh. the, the, the Bible says, he that healeth is the, is, the, is the tree of life. I know my scriptures. That's right. But uh, say, you say, you want me to get tested because I might die. Uh, uh, what's the address? Uh, oh, hold on. I ain't got nothing to write with. I, 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 I got to do what? Stay six feet from who? Six feet. Hold on just a minute. Six feet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay. I got to stay six feet from everybody. Just do CO2? Well, well, that'll work, because, yeah, 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 uh-huh, yeah, yeah, it's six feet, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, all right. Well, I, I tell you what, and what else I got to do, wash my hands? My, I wash my hands once a week. I think that's good enough. I, I, my hands, they clean. The Bible says he that have clean hands, but I, I confess that scripture every day. I, I keep clean hands. <laughs> what else I need to do? Uh, 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 take my temperature? I already did that. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 well, you know what? Thank you so much. Uh, I'll come down and get tested after the virus is over. And then, right, I, I'm going to get tested when it's over. That's right. That's right. Yeah, then I know it's all right. Because I, I, believe, I, I believe God. Hey, sha la 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 Do you believe in the power of prayer? I, I tell you what, I, I'm going to pray for you. Cause, you know, I'm going to pray. Yeah, what's your name? Uh-huh, yeah, I'm going to keep you, I'm going to keep you in, the, in, the, in prayer. Because you need prayer. You, uh, do you know Jesus? Uh, in the partner of your sin? Uh, do you believe in the, the, the infilling of the Holy Ghost and soon coming King and, 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 and do speak in tongues with the spirit of utterance? Uh, all right, okay. Oh, you, all, you all right with me. Now, you, you keep the faith. <laughs> These folks don't know nothing. I believe God. I ain't, gonna, I ain't taking nobody's test. I'm going down to Bethel Family Worship Center tonight. Woo! I want to Jessica. I want, I want to go and speak. I'm going right in Jessica's face and just say, hello, Jessica. I ain't seen her in a long time. And Corbett and all of them. I'm just going to hug them because goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hug bishop first thing when I get there because <clears throat> it's so good to see the saints well let me pray because before, before, I'm just going to pray this thing away you know if a prayer changes things I'm going to pray and God going <laughs> to he going to fix this thing for me bow down line down your head most humble and all wise <clears throat> saturated and unfiltered be increased and encroached, encrevished and encroached. Allow thy servant to be healed from the similitude of, of salvational sickness in the pomatanus of DNA facilitude. And allow your deacon to not cough in the, in the facilities of the sanctuary tonight as it is packed to the capacity in the creation of thine inheritance of saturational permagranates. But allow the people to be saturated with thy presence and permeated in the preparation of spiritual indignities and allow the Holy Ghost tonight to fall fresh on thine handmaids, hand swords, and hand sides. Allow Christianity to be fruitfulness in the land of, of servitudinal blessings and allow healing to manifest tonight. He not allow she, he not, he no, he nay, A-E-I-O-U, and sometimes why. Amen.
Now, now when I go to press that dying pillar, when I pray my last prayer, can't pray no more. Mm, trees shall clap their hands, bushes shall wave their branches. Redeemed of the Lord go marching in, world without end. Amen and amen. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Lord, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
is testifying and somebody is magnifying the name of the Lord out of all the struggles, out of all the storms, out of all the crises that you've been through, you can rejoice by saying you made it. I dare you to put those hands together wherever you are and go ahead. Praise him for his mercy. Praise him for his excellence. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Oh, I thank God for saving me. Somebody bless him. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continuously be in my mouth. Somebody open. It's over. It's over. It's 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 it, it, it's over. It's over. It, that that that's a declaration right this moment, right this second. It's over. All the hell I've been going through, all the crisis that's been around me, all the difficulties, all the furloughs, all the layoffs, all the sickness, all the disparity, all of the pandemic, all of the pandemonium, all of the crisis. I decree by the power of God's decree. I declare it. I echo it. That it is over. Tonight, those of you that are watching uh, around the world, waiting for the next 20 or so minutes for the new year to come in, I promise you that you can't find a person that wants 2020 to stay. From, 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 from the beginning of this year, with the false predictions and prophecies. Many has missed God. But I can lift my hands and give praise to you, O oh God, for protecting me amidst all of the storm, amidst all of the crisis, amidst all of the struggles and the prom problems that we had. It was you that brought me out and saw me through, and I thank you, God. I want to take about four or five minutes and take you down memory lane of 2020, at, at least from, 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 my, from my eyes, from my sight. Storms that come to make you strong sometimes make you weak first. Some people are waiting for Bishop George Bloomer's greatest year-end sermon and message. And I think that the year ended itself. At the beginning of the year, the Lord gave me a word. See it, say it, see it. Stay woke. Great day in the morning. 
While folks were prophesying, saying that 2020 was going to be the year of vision and 2020 was going to be the year where all things were going to come together, they were basing it on the year 2020. And I looked and I shared with you how that in 2020, it was going to be a year of normal vision because if they were using the year 2020 2020 vision is normal it's normal and if you're going to use the years then 2010 is perfect vision is that right 2010 is perfect vision that's what makes it crazy when you start trying to find a, a, a phrase or, or, or a rhyme. It's going to be great in 2008 because you're not really, really hearing from God. And because of this, many people missed it. But I'm glad it's on record that 2020 was normal vision and that everyone was going to see the same thing. <laughs> and it wasn't going to be anything astronomical you better prepare yourself for whatever you see and say, you will see it. And I gave you 20 principles to go by called 20 for 20. 20 for 20. No anger. I talked to you about not being angry and being mad and being upset. Do you remember, do you remember the 20 for 20? Uh-huh. Perfect decision making. Perfect decision making. Uh huh. Wisdom to resolve conflicts. Wisdom to resolve conflict. New eyes and nose for discernment. New eyes, new nose for discernment. Uh huh. Here we go. Power to break the curse of miscarriages and lift the oppression that accompanies it. My God, yes. Wisdom for government leaders. You would be. Wisdom what? Wisdom. For government leaders. What? Wisdom for government Wisdom leaders. Wisdom for government leaders. Uh huh. You will be positioned to have an audience with them and give them wisdom. So God was going to position the prophets in place to speak to the government officials. This is before COVID, this is before it came. This is 2020. You, 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 you're viewing it right now on your screen. This is 2020. Th th this is what God gave us to give to you. Go back to, go back to the one before the government. Five, uh -huh. Wisdom or government leaders. Uh huh. You will be positioned to have an audience with them and give them wisdom. My God, what did the people of faith in the faith community do when they were in the presence? of government officials, they didn't stare them in the right way. Uh-huh. A new level of grace and favor. A new level of grace and favor. Somebody better thank God for still being here right now. Somebody better thank God that they can go home and still kiss their mother, their grandmother, or their children. You better thank God. Here we go. Especially to break curses over young people. My God, yeah. Brand new anointing to become a money magnet. In Brand new anointing to become a money magnet. They said that more millionaires was made during the corona virus than in the past hundred years. This is a billion dollar industry right now. A mask. And more billions to make because there's some dummies that won't wear it now. So you didn't get their money yet, but you will. Here we go. Increased sense of knowing. Uh huh. Supernatural intel. Yes. Not knowing how you know. Supernatural intel. Not knowing how you know. But what you know. But what you know comes I, from God. How, how, how did I know that? the virus was going to return. How did I know? This is way before Dr. What's his name? Dr. Fauci was talking about it. Go, 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 go look on Warfare Ecology. 
I, 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 God would give me things and I would speak it and, and I was afraid to speak it because it didn't look like it would be so. So I would say, I hope I'm a false prophet. Wisdom to what? What was that? Increased sense of knowing, supernatural intel. Supernatural intel. God speaking to you from glory about what is going to happen. The schools shutting down, the governors fighting mayors and mayors fighting the governor, the governors fighting the president, uh, the, 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 the election and the collapse thereof of our democracy. Here we go. The ability to bless and not curse those who have cursed you. The ability to bless those and not curse those who have cursed you. How about giving your life to a ministry and giving your life to the organi to an organization like the Word Network and how they came after me, sabotaging me to, to, to discredit me and discredit my name and the street nigger, Negro that I am wanted to rise up and come up out of me. But the Lord said, hold your peace. I'm going to elevate you to levels that are unknown. Here we go. No anger. No anger. No bitterness. No bitterness. No revenge. No revenge. Wait a minute. And I would tell the church that every single time we came together, no anger. No what? No, no anger, bitterness. No bitterness. No revenge. No revenge. No anger. No bitterness. No revenge. Now listen to me. That's easy to say, but very, very hard to do. I come to tell you right now, there's no anger and no bitterness. And the way that the Lord has fought for me, I'll let him fight for me forever. The great philosopher says, revenge is a dish better served cold. That means that when you're mad, don't touch it. Wait for things to cool off so you're in the right mind and the right mindset. If you're a believer, you don't even wait for it to cool off. You leave it alone for God will fight your battles by God. Uh-huh. The curse of greed is broken. Let your seed lead and your harvest feed you and generations to come. Who would have thought that we would be in the midst of an economical crisis after experiencing at the beginning of the year, the stock market is up, people were getting raises, Black unemployment was the lowest that has ever been in the history of the country. And then all of a sudden, this thing hit. 20 for 20. Here we go. Supernatural harvest. Supernatural harvest. Many of us are living out of a harvest that God is causing to come up in our life. And February, March, and April, are going to be the three months that you're going to see it. That the seed that you had in the ground way back from March this year will show up. Last year will show up in March of this year in just a few moments. Watch this. Supernatural joy. Supernatural joy. You ain't got nothing to rejoice about, but suddenly there's still a chuckle in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Legions of angels of protection. Woo! Well would I be if the angels of the Lord wasn't protecting me? Ah. That flapping sound that you hear. That flapping sound that you hear is the angels that are on assignment to chime you in, to keep you aligned with the things of God so you don't fall or fail up under the pressure that is on you right now. What number is that? That was number 13. 13. Uh-huh, watch this. 14, double portion of blessings. Double portion of blessings. Increase. Increase. Restoration. Restoration. Miracles. Miracles. Divine presence of God. The divine presence of God of God for there is a demon of sickness that is on assignment to take us out and not able to do it because God's got us covered what number is that 
Number 19 is 19. increase revelation of knowledge. Increase the revelation of knowledge. And number 20, overwhelming deliverance. Overwhelming deliverance. In a time today where COVID has made its return, over 200,000 Americans are hospitalized right now. Well over 14 plus million individuals with it. Tons of individuals dead. Groups saying it doesn't exist. I wanted to carry you down memory lane to let you see the rioting in the streets, the fires in California, the hurricanes and the storms that arose in this hour, in this time. The collapsing of the stock market and then the climbing back up. I want you to see the rallies with the mag hats and the president standing there. I want you to see election night. Yeah, where the people have decided that they were going to put someone in and where there's forces trying to overturn it. I want you to see an old man sitting on the throne with an African-American Indian as his vice president. I want you to see churches empty and parking lots filled with people beeping the horns. I want you to see a knee on the neck of a young man which caused Black Lives Matter to rise to prominence. I agree with the slogan, Black Lives Matter, because I'm a black life that matters. But the movement itself goes against much I preach. We're in that place and we're leaving 2020 to go into 2021. So let me say this, no preaching tonight. The dance that you dance will be because God has given you victory and he's brought you over. But let me say this to you tonight. As we cross over into the new year, it is a year that has a number that I wanna talk about, 21. And many believe that the number 21 is associated with angelic visitations, angels and angelic traffic. Great day in the morning. All of this year I've preached out of Revelations chapter number five and how John went up into and was carried up into the heavens and he saw the chambers of seven seven angels and seven trumpets and seven spirits of God and seven thrones and seven, 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 seven. There's a story in the Bible that talks about Daniel and while he's praying, an angel is dispatched from glory but gets caught between the prince of Persia, the prince, the power of the air, and it withholds him 20 and one days. And when he's released on the 24th day, he appears to him and tells him, that if you'd stopped praying, I wouldn't have gotten here. In fact, if you were praying a little bit more, I would have gotten here quicker. You can't allow crises and situations to bark you down so much that you're not praying because your prayers keeps the heavens opened up. Because man possesses the power to an open and a closed heaven. It is God that has given him dominion over the earth. Oh my God you shall prevail for as it was in the days of Noah while Noah was building the ark and angels were coming down assisting him angelic traffic so shall it be in this day I declare unto you that 2021 will be a year of angelic visitations. Be careful how you deal with strangers for thereby you may be entertaining angels unaware. This will be a year of financial favor. This will be a year of 
healing favor, you will experience the blessings of God while the pandemic is fighting and moving to annihilate society. You're going to see the blood of Jesus resting upon the true Christians and the true servants of God. His body is alive and well. I didn't know when I gave you 20 for 20 how prophetic that was going to be. But I wasn't looking for a rhyme or a reason. I was obeying God then as I am obeying God now. The theme for 2021 is going to be angelic visitations. You'll feel the brush of an angel's wing. You'll hear the whisper that comes from God supernaturally that gives you intel that only God could know about what's around that corner. And you'll function well in this year. I speak it over your life. I speak it over your life right now. After all the things we've been through, the writer says, I still have or got my joy. Are you ready now? God bless you. Because 2021 is a year of angelic visitations. Hedge is around you. God's going to bring you out with victory, with power, with a smile on your face, with joy unspeakable that is full of glory. You shall experience the presence of God like never before. And round about the month of April, May, and June, the sun is going to start shining. Fourth of July is going to be independence for you in the name of Jesus. And everything the devil took from you, he'll have to give it back to you. Press down, shaking together. Run. How about that? How, how about that you're about to enter into a season of recovery. 2021 is going to be like that for you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. There's never been a time like the times that we are in right now where I had to cover my face and wash my hands continuously and distance myself from my friends, families, and loved ones. Never have I ever been in situations such as this. But here we are tonight, 31st of December, a celebratorial day. There are customs and principles associated with it. They would be cooking the hog's head with black eyed peas, not allowing a woman to go across the threshold to be the first one to come into the house because it was bad luck getting on the train in New York City and riding to 34th Street, Penn Station, getting out and walking down 7th Avenue to Times Square in brutal cold and sometimes rain and many times snow to see the ball drop. Hoping that the year that has passed is over and the year that is coming in is better. Then I got saved, gave my life to the Lord. So it's been some 30 years since I've had the opportunity of seeing anything drop other than balloons in the sanctuary. That won't happen tonight. I wanted to end the year 
and begin the year scripturally with you out of the word of the Lord. Take a look with me for a few moments at Times Square, where they would have a million plus individuals jammed together at Times Square. Anderson Cooper and a co-host would be there cheering you on. Everybody would just show up, getting ready to say goodbye to the old and end with the new. Not this year. This year is all virtual. People are at their homes holding their glasses of champagne, wine, and for many preachers, white Hennessy. God forgive you today and cleanse you from your unrighteousness. But we're going to have wine tonight the type of wine that is spoken about in the word of the Lord. is a scripture that reads like this. Exodus chapter 12, verses 1, 12, 13, and 14. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. We apply the blood of the Lord Jesus to you and on your life this day to cover you through 2021. So in front of me are 10 cups. 10 is the number of test, of tithe. There's redemptive properties in the number 10. How many times did Joseph change his wages? 10 times. I can go on and on and on. I don't want to do that tonight. But there are 10 things that we're going to commune for you on today. And they're these. The end of the virus, COVID-19. For our nation to repent of the original sin of racism. To end police brutality to end social injustices, for truth to matter again, an end to the fake era news. For truth to matter again, and the end of this nonsense that is called fake news. Every time someone disagrees with you, you say to them, fake news. An end to newscasters commenting more on the story than the story itself. An end to people shaping my ideas and ideologies, treat me as if I'm a fool and I can't think for myself. For truth to matter. As Pilate said to Jesus, what is truth? And then explain to the multitudes that was crying for Jesus' blood. Pilate said, I wash my hands because this guy that you are ready to take is the truth. Economic growth, peace of mind for our churches to open up again. For our churches to open up again. Some pastors are looking at me and I say, I ain't never closed my church. You got a lot of sickness in that church too. I'm talking about for our churches to open back up again in an atmosphere of clean air, the virus gone, and us being able to come back 
and worship God in the beauty of holiness. Ecclesiastes says there's a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. My prayer that the time to refrain from embracing would end so we can embrace again in Jesus' name. For healing and finances. And for finances. Finances, I always say find answers, money answers all things. We believe in you for this. Many of you that are at home and you're beginning to commune with us, give me my communion scripture if you would. In the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. I'm ready to pray for you today in the name of Jesus as we enter into this new season in our life. In Jesus' name. Only God knows what 2021 holds for us. But I told you, angelic visitations, it's going to be your portion. We do. We do this in remembrance. In remembrance. We do this in it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said take eat this is my body and he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying drink ye all of it for this is my blood of the new testament which is shed for many for the remission of sins but i say unto you i will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when i drink it new with you in my father's kingdom and when they had sung in him they went out into the mount of olives my body, which was broken for you in pieces, take and eat all of it. Jesus Christ and this is the wine that covers sins I also am taking it for government for finances for healing for peace in in your in our minds 
to stay connected to our leaders for jobs, for fellowship, for following rules, for family, for remembering God. Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary, it will never lose its power, for it reaches the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. Woo! Take and drink ye all of it. a little minute so we can switch up a little bit there because I want to go to church in our last three or four minutes tonight in the, in the name of, of, of Jesus. And I know it's been a different New Year uh, 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 celebration, New Year celebration. And I, 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 I want you to rejoice with me for a, a little while. Now, my mother's favorite song, hymn was, Hold to his hand, God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to it. And that's a fitting song to sing in an hour and in a time like this. Okay? And so, uh, uh, was good but that was injustice that was good but that was injustice
don't, I, I'm not good with, I'm not good with quartet singing and with quartet music. I like it, but I'm not, I'm not good with it. I'm not good with it. You know. for all my quartet loving members. George Bloomer's quartet. Now let's take us, let's go to the Canton Spirituals. Let's 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 give them some real quartet. Now, I don't know the words to it, but you know. Hello, mother. you 
I've asked you in advance tonight that in your tithe and your offering and your seed sowing time that you would set aside a sacrificial seed tonight for $121. I'm praying that the entire congregation do this and I know you would. You're so faithful. You're the best congregation to pastor. You're the best congregation to pastor. You're the best congregation to pastor. 121. There are several ways that you can sow your seed, and I want you to get it and prepare to sow it now. You can sow it through Cash App, online giving, text to give, and for those of you that want to mail it in, you can mail it in. Cash app, online giving, text to give, and you can mail it in. One. 21, the year of angelic traffic. Oh, Lord. sow your seed on tonight. Text to give. Text Bethel to 844-888-9183. Online giving. Bethelfamily.org. Cash app. Dollar sign. BFWC 515. Or you can mail it in. Bethel Family Worship Center. 515 Dial Street, Durham, North Carolina, 27701. There'll be no approach tonight to push you beyond where you can go. You have to hear God and obey him. Then I want you to start the year off by being a sower of the Taroma. Cash app. Dollar sign, Bishop George Bloomer, Zell Bloomer at bishopbloomer.com, PayPal me, GGB Ministries, text to give, text Bloomer to 844-889-1559, So that seed today in the name of Jesus. Well, let me be the first to wish you a happy new years and a prosperous time in the Lord. I pray now that you would kiss, hug, embrace someone in your family right now and tell them happy new years and we are expecting great things. The song that I hear in my ear right now is no matter what you've been through, it won't end like this. And that's what I'm rejoicing on. I understand that all of the storms and all of the crises that I've been through and all the trouble that I had to face, guess what? It ended with victory, but not the way the devil thought it was going to end. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! you can sow your seed, four ways you can sow your seed. Text Bethel to 844-888-9183. Online giving, Bethelfamily.org. Cash app, 
dollar sign BFWC 515 or mail it to 515 Dow Street, Durham, North Carolina 27701. You can also sow your Taroma seed. Cash app of Bishop George Bloomer. Sell Bloomer at bishopbloomer.com. PayPal me, GGB Ministries. Text to give, text Bloomer to 844-889-1559. Bless you so much and have a prosperous new year. Love you so much. Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to be with you in the name of Jesus. Happy 2021. I believe it's going to be a year that God is going to restore to you everything that the king worm, the palmer worm, the praying mantis, the locust has stolen from you and give it back to you in Jesus name. Amen. Rejoice and know that God is your God in Jesus name. Amen.